Today's video that we're going to be talking about is how to break in a glove. So I just got my new custom Warrior Retro G4 set and every time I get new gear a lot of people want to ask how do I break in a glove and, and specifically the whole set of equipment but I feel like the glove is the most common asked question of how do you break it in because some gloves come really stiff, some come really broken in. Um, so we're going to touch on that a bit today. So first off, there's a very big difference between a junior and intermediate and a pro glove. Now I haven't used intermediate or junior stuff for probably close to eight or nine years now. I've always been the senior stuff because I'm a bigger guy, I have bigger hands. The intermediate and the junior stuff is going to be built a little bit less or a, bit, a little bit poorer than the senior stuff. These are both the exact same glove, just different color schemes, stock G4 Pro. In comparison to the intermediate and the junior, the build quality is going to be a little bit less. You're going to be using lesser quality materials a lot. You know, the companies aren't going to admit it, but I feel like they use uh, less attention to detail in their building the gloves. You know, like for example, like this glove, this is a, I think, $700 glove, retail, or $750, something like that. So for $750, bucks, you're going to be putting a lot more effort into making this glove right for you than, say, a junior or intermediate. But with that in mind, some gloves, um, when you get them, they all usually come tied like this, usually like a string, kind of tying the T-bar together. First part to breaking your glove, take that shit off. You don't need uh, the lace in there tying everything together. The whole purpose of that is to keep the seal nice and tight. You already have the seal, the clothes is great. The problem is trying to get it open, as you see my glove now, I've been using this um, for all my ice since I got it. Clothes is really nicely, really smoothly. And you're probably watching this thing, okay, well how do I get that? Well there's a couple things that I do with my glove to kind of get it to where I want it to be. And you can see the exact same glove, one's a little newer than the other, same thing. They both close great. Next part, try to physically open the glove up a bit. You know, it's been sitting in a factory or in a warehouse in a box wrapped up, tied up like this for, I'm not sure how long, it could, it could be weeks, could be a month, depending on how long it's been sitting around. And it probably hasn't gotten a lot of action. You wanna to try to give it as much action as possible, try to work it in yourself with your hands. On top of that, one thing I found really useful, gloves nowadays, everything on the back hand is totally removable. Everything you can open up, like for example, like the, I think the G4 glove is probably better than anything else in the market, because within a couple of seconds, I have everything top to bottom, totally undone, totally unlaced, and just like that, everything's exposed. Now, the biggest problem you're going to have with breaking in a new glove is this area right here. This part should be fine, the cuff will be fine, it's that break area right in the middle, because the way the glove closes, it has a little piece that kind of overlaps, so your, glove, your hand's going to close a little bit like this, with a hole in there, and the big key is to try to get that to loosen up. You may say this is a waste of water, but... I'll go in the bathroom, I'll turn the shower on, full steam, full blast, try to get as much steam in there as possible. I'll loosen everything up to just get everything wide open so that the steam in the room is just moisturizing everything on the inside and trying to loosen it up. I'll just leave it, I'll lock the door, and just leave the glove in there for 10, 15, 20 minutes just in the hot steam shower. Essentially, it's an at-home method of baking your glove in an oven. Um, a lot of guys, myself included, I like to bake my glove in an oven, um, in a skate oven before I, I start using it. Um, on my last Brian's glove, that came uh, already skate ovened. All my other previous custom stuff, skate ovened as well. Maybe you don't have access to a skate oven, maybe you don't have access to a store that has one. This is a great alternative to that. Essentially the whole process of a skate oven is essentially like molding skates. You're raising the temperature of the glove, you're softening everything up, and you're trying to not necessarily break it down, but you're trying to get it soft enough so that way it closes like that. Another, the biggest key, I think, out of, out of all this, these tips, is gonna be just using the glove. You know, when my G4 glove came, and I, I just used this last night, so it's still a little bit, I guess, wet or broken in, but when I got it, it was probably, probably open about that much, and close maybe kinda like that, and now that I got it worked in, closes great. And this one, I haven't used this guy in probably over a month, maybe a month and a bit, and it still closes great. So, all with the breaking process, just you gotta use it, you gotta stick with it. A lot of kids, they get gloves, they kinda, you know, they start off like that and they can only, you know, maybe close it that much. Key, work it, work the glove. One thing that I find really helpful as well when you're on the ice is, and you see guys like Braden Holpe do it a lot. I remember seeing Jose Theodore as a kid do this a lot. You take the side corner of the blocker wall and you push the T-bar in. And the part that's gonna help there is you're gonna widen the face out a bit and you're gonna dig your hands in a bit, bit deep in the glove and it'll end up opening it up a bit. It takes a lot of that. I wouldn't recommend doing that as your primary breaking because you end up wearing down the T-bar over time, which is why you see some guys when they go to catch pucks, catch like that. So I wouldn't recommend doing that a lot, time to time, it helps. Um, but that's essentially my whole breaking process for what I do with the glove. Leave a comment, let me know, did I miss something? Maybe you have a way that you break in your gloves. I've seen guys run them under hot water. 
Um, I guess that'd be similar to the steam shower method that I have. Again, keep in mind, a lot of people are scared of, of you know, washing their equipment or, or putting it in, in water. Keep in mind, you play on frozen water, you play on ice. I know it sounds dumb, but your equipment is meant to be around water, to be around moisture. Um, so feel free to experiment a little bit and get freestyle and with, uh, with some hot water methods. I mean, don't boil your glove in a pot, um, but just some ideas. Anyway, thank you again for watching. Do you like catching things? Do you love good deals online? Well, I have some great news for you. Folks over at SidelineSwap.com have a website called SidelineSwap.com. Go there, you can buy pro return new use sporting equipment. You can even buy luxurious items like this. Go to the website, check out some of the cool stuff they got. They got all sporting apparel. You can buy and sell. It's 100% secure and the sales pitch is dragging on. I'll see you next week.